My name is Deacon Voles, um, and I won uh, the U-20 World Championships uh, over in Poland uh, this summer, uh, gold medal for the United States. And so I had, I had practice uh, like a day or two before, and it didn't go very well for me. Um, my legs were like still kind of jello-y from the plane, uh, and I've been walking around exploring the city just because it was a new experience. And I was really just enjoying seeing everything and going out and listening to people talk in a different language and, you know, going to restaurants and stuff. The next day, I just kind of laid around the hotel, you know, getting my legs ready, preparing for the meet, doing all the mental preparation that I usually do. And then competition day rolls around, and I'm feeling, you know, pretty good. Uh, my legs feel fine. Uh, we all go out to the competition field, and everybody starts warming up. I took a couple jumps, and they were doing uh, medal ceremonies. Uh, so, like, whatever team won the first place gold medal for that event, they'll play that national anthem, and pretty much the entire field just stops what they're doing. and looks at that team's flag, um, and that happened like three or four times during warm-ups, which started to tally up our time because you only have like so many minutes for everybody to get warmed up and everything. So I wasn't able to take nearly as many jumps as I felt like I should or like I needed to uh, to get my body warmed up and figure out what pole I'm supposed to be on and what height I want to come in at. So I was kind of a little panicky at the beginning, but that was the first part that I PR'd at, uh, was 550. Uh, which was a three centimeter PR for me, so like a little over an inch, so not a very big PR, but I've been waiting on it all year, so that was a, that was a really exciting jump for me. I don't want to say that chances were slim, but you know, no, I don't think anybody really expected me to make that bar. And then third attempt, I think I moved up a pole, uh, pulled the standards up a little bit, and cleared the bar, and just couldn't hardly believe it when I got up off the pit. I looked back up, and it was still up there. I just, didn't know what to do really, because that was a huge uh, personal record for me, um, and it put me in first place at the time. So then uh, Curtis had three jumps left, and he missed. I mean, he missed them all in a row. And at that point, I knew that I'd won the gold. So I went over and you know hugged my coach, all my friends on the sidelines. So it was it was a really cool experience. And then I still had some gas left in the tank. My legs still felt kind of fresh, so I went for a 565. So raised it another two and a half inches basically to uh, 18 six and a half and cleared on my first attempt so you know I was just kind of rolling that day uh, things were going really well uh, all the training that I put in throughout the season for some reason just accumulated all at once into that meet um, I, I've ended up PRing by 18 centimeters total which is pretty massive you know that doesn't really happen um, so it was an incredible day for me uh, they gave me the American flag wrapped it around my shoulders you know ran around for a little while just could hardly believe in what was happening and then I just went back to the hotel and just kind of like laid there and looked at the ceiling. <laughs> just couldn't hardly believe the day that I'd had.